Hey, hey. Check this out. This is an ART lock check sport. I purchased from Cheryl after uh, going over my options for a mechanical friction hitch. Uh, the zigzag uh, was my other choice, really, actually, because I really like Petzl products. But uh, this ART uh, lock jack sport has been quite a piece of equipment. Uh, very well manufactured. It's been uh, an adjustment, but I'm going to do some uh, checking uh, today. Uh, I climbed probably about 10 hours with it, so I'm going to check it out for any type of uh, unusual wear or something that, you know, it's always good to visually inspect your equipment, uh, every centimeter of it, make sure everything's working correctly. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, the clutch, 11.7 millimeter rope is what I use, the poison hivy. Uh, so I use that clutch. There's usually a piece of uh, a connector goes from here to the back side of this, or right to here. A piece of uh, twine holding that this screw in. That's just so you can uh, switch out the clutches mid mid climb if you'd like. You know, more options. I don't do that, so it really doesn't matter. And I don't the ropes you know get in the way to for me, so I just leave it off. Here's what you want to know, okay? Which isn't, you don't, this information is really isn't easily uh, findable out there. Now, um, that right there, that right there, this is a clutch. See, it says, here it says top. That's where the rope goes through. When this gets on an angle, what it does is it, clutches the rope and stops you from moving. Now, to get that out of there, you need to, uh, the book, this bolt right here is hand tightened. You should not have to have any tool to get this off. You need to take, it's this, uh, this wire right here holds, is a safety mechanism for this, this whole clutch system. What it does is it goes to the body and then it goes through the clutch itself, this, into the this other side, it doesn't even go all the way through. So it just rides in there, basically. So this screw has a very wide, um, let me show you here. To get the screw off, you basically pull down this wire. And you should be able to hand untighten that, okay? If you notice... The safety wire rides on the first big lip of the screw. That's the first defense against the screw backing out in your climb and having your clutch fail, which is a bad, bad, bad thing. So once you get it on there, you can see it right there. The wire itself will ride down the mechanism. Let me see it better this way. Like that. Now, and the Cheryl rep was saying this was funny, too, because once it's to this point right here, the second groove, see that? Your clutch is already free. It's come out. This right here. So, it's pretty critical that... You know, you, you don't have any weird loading on this. <clears throat> any type of odd wear or tear cracks. You know, just the typical... Every, all the bolts are secure. And this should just be hand tightened in there once the safety... <clears throat> so this is looking good to me. Um, I don't notice anything odd. Uh, cracks, everything seems to be... Together and working correctly, the safety device that wire seems to be doing its job for the bolt. There's no cross threading. There's no uh, pieces of steel or aluminum. Uh, I don't see any weird corrosion or. I mean, there's one little tiny. I think this is from the original rope, right there. Can you see that? Where the heck is it? Hey, 
there. A little place right there. But this is not, you know, consider that mission critical. It rides. Okay, so then that looks good. This part connects to your saddle. The beaner goes to there, and this part connects to the, uh, the carabiner going around the uh, friction saver. And I couldn't find that information anywhere. So. I had to call the Cheryl rep who was really cool about it. He was the one that recommended this. I was going to get the zigzag, and he was like, well, maybe you want to check this out. I'm really happy I got it. It's been a great addition. This is the top right. There you go. Okay, so put the rope in the other these. Okay, okay. Now it's riding down there. There's a one lip. First, I mean, actually, the really the most important only, you do not want the bolt to back out that far, even past that lip. That would be uh, disastrous, to say the least. Okay, so the clutch is back in there. This is the way it rides when I'm using it in the tree. The rope was round. Carabiner connects to there. This is on my saddle. All right, and then you just you have to be at an angle though, because what the clutch does is grabs the rope when you're getting forces in the, in the opposite direction. See that like that? When it turns, is when it when it grabs. So anytime you're pulling down on it from the saddle, it's, and then, but then when it's going up, it's, there's just actually no uh, <laughs> resistance at all, which is great if your shoulders are beat and you're old like me um, for uh, slack tending on an MRT system, you know. Uh, so, so far I've been really happy with this. It's a great little tool. And uh, I highly recommend it. And the price wasn't that bad. Like I said, I really like Petzl products. I think they're really well manufactured. And I think they have the, you know, they have a track record over the years. But uh, I'm really wary of jumping on the, any type of boat with new equipment. Because I know that the first generation is exactly that. The, this uh, lock jack has been out a while, and uh, uh, you know, like that, like the zigzag. I feel you know I, that I can trust this product with my life, and that's very important, obviously. And that's that.